So you go to pick your eight-year-old up from summer camp and they run away from you. They're too big to pick up and you don't even know where they are. What do you do? Here's exactly what to do right now. And then more importantly, here's what to say to your child tonight before bed so that you don't have this whole thing again tomorrow. Go find them and then bend down, look at them in the eye, use the space, like put them in a corner and say, wow, you were thinking you wanted to stay. It's time to go. Camp is all done. You're gonna stand up, you can hold my hand. And then I'm gonna hold their hand even though they're eight. If they give me some resistance about that, I'm gonna stop and look at them and say, oh, you were thinking you wanna walk side by side. Okay, that means that you stay with me. Are you ready for that? If they look agitated, I'm gonna say, oh, Mm, we can try that tomorrow. Right now, we're walking, holding hands. I bet tomorrow you'll be a whole day older and you'll remember we always come with mom when it's time to go. Your kid may be mad at you and once you get to the car, I don't want you to say anything else about this. I don't want you to say, that was so embarrassing. You're hey, Don't ever do that again. None of that stuff. No words about it. Here's what you're going to do tonight at bedtime in order to get ready for tomorrow. Once you're laying like in a calm and quiet place, I'm going to say, wow, sweetie. That was so hard at pickup today. I bet tomorrow, when it's time to go, you'll say, oh yeah, mom, I'm ready to go. Here I am. We can even let your teacher know, your coach know, that we might need a little help getting out. It is not a secret. If your child is struggling to transition out of camp and they are eight, it does not need to be a secret from the counselors or the teacher or whoever's in charge. And I can say to the kid, let's let them know so they can help us out. Now, if your kid then says, no, 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 it's not a secret. Some kids may like to collaborate with you on this. And so I could say, hey, got any ideas? What could have make it easier? This kid is eight years old. If they say, I don't know or nothing, okay. We can keep doing it my way and my way because we always hold hands when we leave, even when we're eight. Now, some of you are going to say you can't hold an eight-year-old's hand in front of their friends or something like that, and the truth of the matter is your eight-year-old's running away from you. And that's not okay. We should have dealt with this when they were a little bit younger, but now they're big, and so now there's like a heightened need to deal with it. And you may need to use some tools that you might normally use on a younger child while you work on this. And I can say to them, you know what, you know, it's just too hard right now. This transition is really tough. And so I'm going to help you out and I'm going to meet them where they are, not where they want to be, not where you think they should be, where they are. And what you're telling me is that when you go to pick them up, they are running away from you. So make a rule gently, kindly tonight at bedtime. Here's what we're going to do when I come to pick you up, we will walk out holding hands. And I know you're gonna know when mom says it's time to go, it's time to go. You're gonna get it. Be kind, be present, and I would absolutely ask the coach or teacher for help. Three cheers for easier pickups.